Hey, what up, guys? Doctor Man Three Three bringing you another video. This is actually going to be another unboxing video because guess what came out today? Saints Row the Fourth. I was going to say that differently, but whatever. <laughs> Saints Row the Fourth. So, woo! And also another woo hoo because I have new setup sort of look as you can see here. Instead of using my shitty camcorder, I have now bought an HD webcam so now when I do these unboxing videos they'll be a lot better of a quality and you can understand me and see everything perfectly and whatnot so yeah this is my my desk uh, a little dirty don't worry about it too much keyboard don't worry about that too much either don't look at my mouse it's nasty <laughs> but let's hop into this so I just picked up Saints Row the fourth wub wub edition that's the actual name of the the special edition is Wub Wub. And that's the best name of any edition special order that I ever got. So especially when they called me up, they're like, Your Wub Wub edition has. is ready to be picked up. I, I like. I giggled internally. It was quite funny. So this is actually kind of part of it, but when I picked it up, they're like, Hey, want a free flag? So I was like, Sure, bro. Why not? It's probably really shitty, but. I'm not even sure if I can, you can see all it, but. This thing is massive. Holy. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh my. I'll try, try to show it the best I can here, but. Yeah, this basically says Saints Row on it. It's a huge ass. Kind of a cheap flag, but nonetheless. Pretty awesome. It's free. Nice little inclusion, so. Yeah, I'll hang that up later. Uh, what the hell do I do with this? <laughs> So yeah, nice little free love flag. Pretty awesome. Hang that to my next to my Assassin's Creed floor flag, whatever. All right, so now this thing, this box was huge. Okay, Wait, hold on. Drink break. But yeah, this box was a lot bigger than I thought it was. But I guess I should have expected that what was coming, what was going to come in it. So they gave me this big bag. Don't worry, but that's for my headset. Boom. I'm sorry, this... The camera is, like, I probably should have... Um, angled a little better, but... Yeah, this is the box. This is huge. Look at this box. Okay. Uh, this is my hand, compared. It's, like... Yeah, just, like, look at this. It's... Okay, this box is huge. So, really nice-looking artwork on the front. On the sides, it just says... Starting from four on both. On the back, it says, um, just talks about, like, what the game, like, mass destruction, freedom, it tells you what you get in the pack, so all the stuff you get right there. Alternate box art, dubstep gun, Johnny Got Statue, well, American Commander Edition, or whatever. Show some like pictures up here too. So let's let's open this bitch up. Oh, I probably should yeah, whatever. use my somewhat non-existing nails to record this. Let me open this. Let me record this. Oh, whatever. Okay, I don't want to accidentally rip the box art. So open her up. Oh yeah, but today was really holy oh, shit! There's so much stuff in here. <laughs> Look at that sexiness. It's an empty box. So today is actually pretty awesome because not only did Saints Row 4 came out, Gamescom was going on, and that's also a huge, huge gaming uh, ordeal. That uh, basically now yeah, still a bunch of games, new trailers, and everything. So I guess first things first is boom. Look at that art. I kind of wish it was like a hardened edition. Like a hardened case, that would have been really cool. But it's still, it's pretty awesome. It's alternate box art. I know that for sure. Commander in Chief Edition. So I know you got that free when you pre order it. So anybody that pre ordered got this free Commander in Chief Edition when it comes with uh, some extra weapons and like suits and stuff like that. So yeah. Pretty awesome looking box art. Gonna start playing that soon in a minute here. Alright, 
Alright, so remove the first layer. Uh, let's start with let's start with this little thing on the corner here. Nice little Saints Road three keychain. No, nice little. Eh, it's kind of not cheap, but eh, kind of cool nonetheless. Yes. Um, I guess we'll go with this. This is kind of pretty big. Open up. There we go. Hey, sorry, I was just admiring it. So this is the Johnny Gat statue. Uh, it doesn't say too much. It says Saints Row Johnny Gat. This little pretty good tall statue. About as tall as my, uh, maybe not as tall, but pretty awesome statue. Nonetheless, smells like a statue. But yeah, so. That side. Garbage. Next. Oh, that's, oh, that's what that is. This is not a key, it's a key. I thought it was a keychain, but. If we take off this little protective thing, this is our doomsday button. Apparently makes noises. <laughs> Look at that. Sorry if you didn't see this, but the doomsday button. Case. You unlock it. Cheesiest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh man, that's a pretty awesome novelty, though. Item, very nice novelty item. <laughs> so let's go around. And the big prize. Oh, there's some batteries built in here. Fuck. This is the dubstep gun. This actually works, I guess so. Yeah, I should probably get the batteries out. Awesome little novelty item, too. You're wondering why it's World Wolf Edition. This is exactly why. Because. Because there's so much Wobble Wobble you can't even handle. So I think that's it here. Random little cardboard dot. I'm not sure if I'll keep this, I'll probably just throw it out. No, it doesn't really say anything, it's just a blank box, so. I just basically keep anything that says Saints Row, or just keep the main box, but. Let's open up these batteries. Uh, uh, stupid protective covering. Oh, I need a small little screwdriver. That's great. That's fantastic. I probably should have thought this over before. I, uh... Well done. I do have one, actually. I do have one. Be right back. Luckily, I have a small ass little. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, come on.
because of how awkward it is. Oh my god, this is the most awkward thing to get out here. See, so yeah, in the meantime, have you guys played any Saints Row games? If so, which ones? If not, there we go. I was recently platinumed Saints Row III. Played a little bit of Saints Row 2. Haven't played Saints Row 1, though. Okay, so I got that open. Whew, that's a little bugger. A little bugger. So, let's put in negative. Negative. That just happened. <laughs> so yeah, it plays dubstep and shoots a little laser. That I won't point at the camera because that'll blind everybody. So yeah, worth about a hundred bucks. Was it worth it? Uh, fuck yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's 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 the Wobob edition. Get that other way. Boom. Basically, and plus something. So. All this plus some in game DLC with the special Commander in Chief Edition for the extra like forty bucks. <laughs> Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you like the quality of the video. Thanks for watching guys.